What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. So glad to have you in my studio today. So this has been in the kiln for a little while now and uh, we're gonna unload it right now. There's some really interesting stuff. I've been testing some new clay, been testing some new glazes, as you know if you watch my channel. I'm excited to get back and they're throwing some pots. If you wanna buy any pottery, go over to the Kickstarter. We still got a few weeks left, maybe a few days when this video goes live. I really don't know where my videos are at, but uh, yeah, if you wanna get a twisted mug, you wanna get a spiral mug, you wanna get a t-shirt, you wanna get whatever, go hit up the Kickstarter. Are you ready for this? You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you, wait, first of all, are you going to Ensika? Ensika's coming up at the end of this month, March, whatever, I'd love to see you there. Come get a JTP sticker from me if you're gonna be there. Let me know, comment below. Are you going to Ensika? All right, let's do this thing. Let's unload this kiln. All right, first thing is this big bowl with some, some slip in there. That's super cool. I have a large platter on the Kickstarter too that would be similar to this one. So if you like this, if you like the look of that, I always test to see if it like, if it warped at all and if it's, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I don't think you guys are ready for what I'm about to show you. Here's a mug. So I used slip on there to get those. I didn't use my finger. That's actually slip that's added on, which I like the look of a lot. And this was my first test of marbling. Marbling the clay. And I think it is Awesome, awesome! It kind of bubbled. Obviously it, that clay doesn't really work a little, very well. See that, little bubbles? So that's kind of interesting. That this, these two clays might not work together, but I thought I would just give it a shot. GPS signal lost. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Okay, what else do we got here? So here's some two things. So this is that new clay that I'm testing out. It's like a dark red iron dark clay or something like that. And uh, yeah, it looks cool. Looks like the glaze didn't really crack or craze at all on this cl clay, which I really like. That's awesome. And then here was just a big twisty mug, or not a mug, a big twisty, twisted vase that I tried out those new diamond core tools, carving tools. It's pretty sweet. Boop. All right, here's a custom mug for a patron, a new $50 a month patron, state of Maine, it says, Home. Home. Pretty nice. That turned out really nicely. Like it a lot. Like it a lot. And then we got some some Canyon Skies mugs, which are turned out really nice. God, that, that glaze is just really in a nice shape. Like it. I like it. So purpley to just a really deep brown. Got another one of these. Yes, that's super nice. Ooh, like those a lot. Really nice. So this is a plate for 30, 30 plates in 30 days, an, an Instagram challenge that I'm doing. So this was my sun entry. What do you think? You think that looks like a sun? Cool, super cool, nice. Still struggle with adjectives. Way to go, John. I still use the word sweet and cool way too often. Just got some normal, normal mugs. Northern Lights, here's a Northern Lights twisted mug. Boop. That's pretty dope. Ah, dang it. All right, here's a, uh, a spiral drippy with that dark, that dark clay. It's amazing to me the difference, the, that, the, how different glazes, oh, focus on my face. It's amazing to me how different glazes can look on different pieces. Like this piece right here is the same glaze as this piece right here. But it looks so different because of the clay that's underneath it. The clay changes the glaze color so much. So interesting. Got these like speckles on it. Quite remarkable. I, got, I think I gotta use that clay more often. I really like it. 
Oh, look at that drippy twisted mug cup thing. That's awesome. All right, let's back everything up a little bit. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. That is just gorgeous. If I could have a, oh, that, I just like love that so much. Beauteous, beauteous. Got some shot cups. Got some more, more mugs. Turned out really nice. Got some more shot cups. What the heck are these pieces? It's a little piece stuck, so that is no longer sellable. But it is salvageable. All right, got a bunch of spiral cups. So basically I'm, I'm calling the spiral ones the ones that look like that, right? Like that have the spiral, and then this is the twisted one. So that's the difference between my spiral and my twisty. Some people call them like swirly. A lot of plain Northern Lights mugs and shot cups and spiral cups and a few other things. Everything turned out pretty nice. I'm really filling up the table here. Bunch of spiral, bunch of spiral cups. Ah! Oh! And then the last one is this, this twisty, twisty mug. That's it guys. Check it out. Check out all those sweet pots. All right, friends, there it is. There it is. We did it. We did it. All right, if you wanna go buy any of my pots, the Kickstarter is the only way you're gonna get any pots for a while as I'm gonna be starting to work on all those orders. Thanks to everyone that has backed us over there. Can't say how much I appreciate it. Spiral mugs, twisted mugs, t-shirts, the works. Comment below, tell me if you're coming to Ensika. I wanna see you there. I wanna see you at Ensika. I'm super pumped to go. Never been. Ensika stands for National Conference? NC of Education in the Ceramic Arts? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is that what it stands for? I'll put it on the bottom right here. National something something ceramic arts. Conference, coalition, C, what other C words? It's probably conference. Anyway, it's the biggest clay conference there is. It's in Minneapolis this year, 30 minutes from my doorstep. I will be there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'll be at Continental Clay throwing some pots. They're gonna have a wheel, so if you wanna come say hi, come to the Continental Clay booth and other things. You know, just gonna be having a good time. It's gonna be awesome. If you wanna see us do some snowboarding on the lake, check out this little number that we did a few weeks ago. Other than that, I hope you're having a great day, great week. I hope your pots are coming out. I hope your art's working. I hope you're just having a good, good life. If you're not, I need to remind myself of this sometimes. Enjoy it. Enjoy life. Got things pretty good. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, like this video, all the things. Check out all the links in the description if you want to see my Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. Follow me over there. I don't know what else to say, except for I'll see you in the next video. And go have an adventure. Oh, now I gotta go take pictures of all this stuff. I cannot wait for the new studio. It's gonna be, oh, I'm gonna have like, the camera's gonna be set up. I'm gonna have places to take pictures all the time. It's gonna be so awesome.